Well, afternoon campers, I've just had my dinner. It's 1.13.32. 26 April. It's got to be Sunday, because we just had Sunday dinner. That was lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, I was just fucking going on, thinking about things that's happened, and, you know, and I thought of some of the old jokes I'd heard, and uh, I don't know if you've heard it, but, um, I mean, there's this guy, he's going along with his <clears throat> girlfriend in a little horse and trap, and it's the first time he's taken her out, and they've been out, you know, never been out before, and he's been trying to chat her up, and so as he's coming out and he's got the Sunday best on, he's going along, jig 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 like you know, as you do with these horse and traps, or as you, like you won't even know, but we always used to all drove when we were younger. And um, he had a bloody horse farts, didn't it? And uh, she said that he, he got really, really embarrassed when bright red. He said to her, he said, look, he said, I'm sorry about that. She went, oh, she went, that's all right. She said, I thought it was a horse. And uh, so he gets really even more embarrassed. So we got along, and he looked in this field. She goes, what's that over there? And that was this bull shagging his cow. And he gets really embarrassed. He went, oh, he said, um, he said that's uh, nature. He said, that's what happens. He said, uh, this time of year, he said, the, the cows give off a pheromone, give off a smell. And then the bull comes in and knows they're ready to mate. He said, mm, they mate. She went, oh. He went, it's just nature. He said, don't worry about it, it's just nature. She went, oh. So anyway, they're going back and they've got a lovely day out and go back to the house and he's coming out the road and there's a dog shagging another dog in the road. And she goes, what's that? He goes, oh, he said, it's the same. He said, he said with all animals. He said, oh, they give off this pheromone smell. He said, um, she said, you know, he said, it's just nature. He said, just, as the world goes around, it's just nature. So anyway, he gets her out with things. He pulls her hand, pulls her down onto the road and takes her up to the gate gives her a kiss on the cheek and he said um, is there any chance of seeing you again she went yeah give me a ring she said when your smell gets better <sighs> so that was about that was about it really not very good is it yeah it's about getting it was, what about the bloke with his um, his daughter comes in she's 16 years old and she's pregnant she tells dad that she's pregnant and he said this bloke who's got pregnant boy is uh, 60 years old well, the old man goes fucking mental, doesn't he? So the old man goes mental, like, you know, he said, he said you wait till he fucking have me. He said, I'll pull his, head, pull his fucking neck out for his asshole. And uh, she said, oh, she said, you're all good, Dad. She said, he's all right. He said, he's going to run and see you tomorrow night anyway. She went, oh, is he? He said, we'll fucking sort this out. Anyway, he turns up and he says, look, he said, um, I know it's a bit of a, a long age gap, he said, between your daughter, he said, myself. But he said, I'm a very rich man, he said, and um, with your little daughter has a, as a little girl, he said they'll I will buy them over a house when they get older. He said there will be a two million pound de in dairy, dairy, um, or put it in their bag. I don't know what you call it, fucking dairy, what you call it. He said there was a little boy. He said he'll get the same two million pound um, and and a house of his own. You know, he said in um, he said I'm really worried. He said um, he said I hope he said in, he said if everything goes right. He said in, that's what'll happen. He said in, um, he said I hope she doesn't have a miscarriage. And the old man said he said well if she has a miscarriage he said you was I would never go. Oh dear, dear. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I remember when we when me old boxy went to India. We guess out there and I, we got told everything was all right out there. Nothing's, nothing's really, really dangerous. The only, the only dangerous snake is the blue and brown one, the, the yellow and brown one. He said, so, um, he said, if you, what you do, he said, if you find one, he said, you've got on this tail. He said, you grab it up its body, yellow, brown, yellow, brown, yellow, brown, yellow, brown. And when you get to the top, you're behind its neck. Just break its neck. He said. He said that's the only way to deal with them. So the old boxy finds this fucking. Uh, old boxy's on this uh, stretcher, and I said, "What the fuck happened to you?" He said, "I found, I found one of them snakes." He said, "And I went brown, yellow, brown, yellow, brown, yellow, brown, yellow." He said, "Well, I got the fucker then." He said, "It was a tiger." But, um. Yeah. Yeah. Bloody phone call last night. Bloody Gina got his bloody so-called bloody what's it obscene phone call. And she said, "Fucking!" Well, I said, well, "I said, what did he? What did he say to you?" And she said, "He said, have you got a great fat, sweaty, hairy fanny, a, a straight back hairy twat?" And she went, "Yeah." She said, "Out in the van." She said, "Do you want me to go and get him?" <laughs> Fuck that one up, don't I? Proper, proper good. 
Yeah, I don't know. I can remember, you know, buddy. It's just young lad. I mean, well, he's uh, he um, he got on this uh, when he was at school. The school, he dropped his dropped his rubber on the floor, didn't he? And he's only seven, and he went, "Oh fuck it!" He said, "Drop the rubber." And the teacher was flabbergasted. She said, "Jolly," she said, "swearing." She said, "Where would you do you learn that?" She said, "How long have you been swearing?" He said, "Oh," he said, "He said not long." He said, "He said just after I started smoking." He said, you're seven years old and you're smoking. He went, yeah, he said, but I don't, I don't smoke a lot. You know, he said, you know. And uh, she said, well, so how long so how long have you been smoking? So when was the last time you had a cigarette? He said, oh, last night, just after sex. And she went, just after sex? It was just after sex. And she went, yeah, she said, um, she said, who was that with? He said, I can't remember. He said, he was drunk. And he must have loved a uh, thing, you know. Yeah. The old little boxy with his, his fucking mate there died, and he wanted to be buried at sea. And we got out on the boat, and we got out Western Supermare, and we went out and out and out, and paddled out and paddled out and paddled out. Got out about a mile, no, you know, no Western. Anyway, jump, boxy jumps over the fucking side, and he said, um, he said, I'll do it up to his waist. So, anyway, so he gets in, he goes up another half a mile, and he jumps in, it's up to his fucking neck, so he goes back another half a mile, and right in the English fucking channel now, in the Bristol Channel now, and old boxy jumps over the fucking side, and disappears. So we were gone about 15 seconds, and he pops back up, and he went, this is deep enough. He said, pass me the shovel. And he must have my own nonsense, I'll speak to you later, bye-bye.